hey guys welcome to my channel my name is joanne if you're new to this channel you're very welcome and if you're an old subscriber watching this video right now i appreciate your effort please guys if you've not subscribed to this channel take your time and subscribe it's free like this video and share if it's helpful so if you want to see how i'm going to be making this beautiful sleeve stick to the end let's do this together this is the pattern paper i'll be making use of and i'm going to be marking three inches three inches all around like so the reason why i'm using a pattern paper is for you to understand first before i do it on the my fabric so first we are going to be learning this using a pattern paper i'm marking repeating what i marked up down here so it's basically three inches you can do yours two two inches 2.5 inches you can even go as far as four inches so it's it will actually give you a different look but a perfect also a good result sorry so well i'm using a straight ruler now to mark connect the points together and this is the vertical measurement horizontally i'm going to be marking three inches as well please note that whatever you mark vertically is what you're going to be marking horizontally for instance i mark three inches vertically i'm repeating that measurement horizontally i hope you understand what i mean so i'll go i'm going to be connecting the points together as well so that it's at the end of the day it's going to give me a, a box form a box kind of form i don't know if you understand so like you're seeing there so after doing this i'm going to be showing you how we are going to be marking this and how we are going to be sewing these together so guys please watch closely and uh, for us to have that effect the smoking effect we are going to be taking cognizance of each of the boxes so we are marking we are going to leave a space here right there and down here so we are basically marking from the second line i don't know if you understand whatever you first and foremost you leave a space up mark the second line leave a space on the third line mark on the fourth line leave a space on the fifth line that is how you do it till you finish marking on each of the boxes so we are leaving a space up and side that is where you're going to be attaching to your garment so we are connecting the lines diagonally this is how you're going to get that effect because basically we are going to be stitching these diagonal lines together bringing it from anyway when we get to that stage i'm going to be showing you let me not confuse you guys <laughs> so at this if you notice i'm shading this away i'm not going to be using it because actually it's supposed to be the same thing as the other part so this is kind of excess for me so i'm cutting it out guys so remember i'm leaving like a box from this from the left and the right so you're going to go down and mark a diagonal line as well repeat what we did up here down and could that's just basically continue doing this to you exhaust your pattern so this is how it is this pattern is kind of small so when i'm doing on the fabric i'll be showing you guys how you can do it so for my fabric i'll be making use of um one and half yards of fabric but i guess it was a bit more than one and a half yards so you can go as far as using two yards or 1.5 one and a half yards or more than one and a half it totally depends on the amount of fabric you have so i'm going to be doing this on the fabric like 
you've seen this is how it is i did this off camera sorry about that guys i feel like since i've already shown you guys how to do it on a pattern paper you basically use that pattern and do it on your fabric so this is how it is these are the boxes i've already created boxes in there and this is how it is so i'll measure it guys for you to see this is basically about one and a half or more than one and a half half it's it's actually a while i made this video so this is how basically one and one and a half yards go ahead and do yours more than one and a half yard depend depending on the fabric you have so guys can do one yard but the fuller the fabric the f the more beautiful the the pattern comes out the smoke effect comes out so i advise you use from one yard up and above so i'm going to be like i explained on the pattern paper i'm going to be make keeping a space up down and both sides so i'm leaving the first boxes up down and the two sides so what i'm going to be doing here is just like we did on the pattern paper you would go down skip the first line mark on the second line just pay close attention it's not hard so we skip that part the second box mark on the third box we skip the third the fourth box and mark on the fifth box this is how you continue doing this if you don't skip each um the boxes between you're not really going to get the smoke effect okay everything will just pack together so we actually need to skip each but uh, actually need to skip the boxes in between while you're marking so guys so this is it like what we had on the pattern paper i'm having like two lines here two boxes so i'm going to be cutting off the other part but first let me just finish marking so guys this is i'm skipping the third line and i'm marking on the fourth line basically repeating what i did on the pattern paper so this is it if you have any question please drop it in the comment section if you're confused about anything drop it on the comment section i'm going to attend to your question so at the end of the day um after doing this i was done with with marking the lines the diagonal lines on the on some boxes so i'm going to show you how you're going to be stitching these parts together to have that smoking effect first we are going to be putting our thread and into our needle okay put your thread into your needle so the next step is to sew on the diagonal line that line inside each of the boxes so we are going to be making a stitch right there and connect it to the other point so this basically this diagonal line is serving as a guide when we are making our stitches so we i'm going to double tack that for for it not to lose sooner so you you have to make a tag make it very strong so that it doesn't lose okay so after that we are going to be sewing do the, repeat whatever we did there on the other line so wherever you made your line your diagonal line is where you're going to be sewing on so i'm basically repeating what i sewed on the first box here so this is how we keep on doing it till we finish sewing on the boxes okay on the diagonal lines in each of those boxes all right i don't know if um you are making sense i don't know if you understand what i'm doing here but please take your time and rewatch the video over and over again if you're confused about anything okay drop a comment and i'm going to attend to you i don't want you to be confused 
I don't want you to have another result. If you follow what I'm doing, you're basically going to come out with the same result as mine. So this is it. You're going to tag them together like your basically tag it together make it firm okay and keep on doing the same thing until you, you exhaust your your fabric all right so actually it 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 took me a little bit of time for me to get this done and if you really want to have a perfect effect you're going to be using um, a fabric that is um a bit soft okay a fabric that is um, a bit soft so that you can have that effect let me show you guys how it is so this is how it it is okay now the shape is already coming out like you've seen basically repeat what you did up on the first lines repeat it on the second part okay remember to skip the second lines go over to the third line follow the your diagonal lines you follow your diagonal lines i assure you you're not going to miss any box all right so take your time guys and do it it was a little bit time consuming but i bet it was worth the stress okay after my client wore this it it came out very pretty all right it came out very pretty and i was amazed at the outcome so what is what doing is actually what doing well all right so don't think about the time you're going to spend doing this go ahead and take your time do this with all manner of carefulness and you'll be amazed at the results if you're still watching this video to this point it means you like it please take your time and subscribe to this channel like this video and share if it's helpful so guys at the end of the day this is what i came up with and this is how our pattern is looking and this is how yours will be looking if you follow the steps so this is the right side have you seen guys it's actually looking very beautiful so i'm going to be running a gather stitch from um, um on the upper part and the the down part and i'm going to be cutting this part out remember it was excess so after running the stitch i'm going to be attaching it to sew it and attach it to the main dress and let me show you how it's looking so this is how it is guys have you seen it's looking very beautiful and after the client wore this it came out to pep guys thank you so much for watching this video and for sticking around i love you so much have a beautiful day bye